Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing and review today I have for you all an unboxing I've been waiting to do for quite a bit, I bought them about 2-3 weeks ago I wanted to save them for uh, like last of all the figures that I've had right now that I've done unboxing and reviews for for like the last month or so so today I have for you all the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Mainline Optimus Prime Voyager class figure. So, I found this in stores. I found a um, store closest to me, the Walmart closest to me. Didn't have money. Tried to hide it. Someone else got it. I was like, dang. Now, the store actually has Optimus Prime still there. And no one wants to buy it. I'm like, sure. <laughs> so now I could have gotten it there. But I went to a farther Walmart. Um, I hit that one. A little bit smarter, and when there a second time, guess who was there? Him, and then that's also where I got Mario. So this is the figure that I was talking about in the last video, saying, "Oh yeah, I got another figure when I bought Mario," and I'll let you know who he is in the next video. So I got this. Um, if you guys did see my short, I did pre-order did an Optimus. I did, but then I canceled it. But I'm gonna try my hardest and buy it. Either go find it in store or when it has actual release date, I will try to get there. I hate when they do Target exclusives because then it's only Target you can get it. Or people will buy multiple, which is why it's out of stock right now for pre orders. And yeah, they buy multiple and then they sell them online for horrendous prices. And I'm like, alright. But at least I got an Optimus Prime now. If this guy was expensive online, if you're just going to buy it from someone who already owned it. Or bought it at the store. Happy he was there. I'm so happy I have him right now in hand. I miss having Optimus Prime. I <laughs> I would bring Optimus Prime with me to school. Alright. Now Bowlby, Optimus. Bowlby would stay home. He'd be the home protector and Optimus would be the one that I bring to school to me on my desk. Play with him during lunch or whatever and or lunch recess. And then yeah. Have a good time. But then, I don't know how or why, I think I got rid of them, because I wanted the movie version of figures, and then, and then I kind of just said, meh, I didn't have the money, and I kind of went past that, and went to like, Star Wars, and Marvel, and DC, and now, I mean, Rise of the Beast, that kind of has come back to me, and I'm happy now, so, <laughs> more happy about Transformers stuff. If you already watched the movie, the movie is great. I'm going to do a whole review on my other channel, which is my That Girl CV Plus channel, which is where I do reactions, reviews on movies, and shows I've already watched. So, yeah. Rankings of movies, you know. Which will probably do one of Transform oh, Transformers movies. Uh, and everything like that. So, I'm happy to have him now. I miss having Transformers figures. I had, like, it's kind of like how I have the figures now. I have Optimus, I had a Bumblebee, I had. Um, a ratchet. I didn't have an RC, but I had a Megatron and had a Starscream, so I had like two villains, two heroes, and I had a mini with a ratchet. So, as of now, I've got a whole Autobot team. Now I actually build up my Decepticon team, but I think I'm going to still build up on my Autobot team and everything like that. So, yeah, so this is a Voyager class figure. Everything you can see on this side, Voyager class, and then all the different things in the back. This box is a little bit dented in the back, but I don't care. I don't care. I got it. This box is going to sit on shelf like that. So you can hear me tell them. Like that. But yeah, so here's a picture of him. The gun, though. Looks like a handgun, but it's not. It's literally just his normal gun that he has. Just the printing on it is um, gray instead of black. And then here's the vehicle form, which looks pretty good. You know, not as good as Studio Series, but. I'm going to say this, I am getting both, Studio Series and Mainline, and then I'll do a video comparing them both, so, which if I can do the movie, that'd be cool too. Um, and then yeah, you can see Authentic Transformers, and they kind of got the overlay of the box art, like you can see them here, and you can see that there. This one's a little bit different from the Studio Series and everything, because this one was made as the movie was getting created, so like the style and design of Optimus was changed over time, so... Yeah, like he isn't literally, he isn't exactly like how this is right now. 
or how this looks right now. So it's a lot different. But yeah, Optimus Prime is the Beast, Hasbro, Voyager Class, boom. But yeah, so you get it on the box one more time. He's got 20 steps of uh, transformation. The box is really cool though. I love these boxes. Like, when I see a top toy hunt and everything of him, I was like, that, when I see that in the store, I'm like, damn, that's on the store. I asked somebody I knew that I went to the store with if they had the money. I said, no. So I said, maybe next time. I had one like, yeah, next time he wasn't there. But now he is there at that Walmart, but then he was at a photo Walmart, and that's when I got him. So I was like, hee hee, I knew. So, yeah. Very, very awesome. And I will, like you said, be in the Studio Series version too. So then I can get the items from his set, put it with him or whatever, and then uh, get the Optimus Prime on, get the axe with him, and all that. So, yeah, I think it's enough talking for now. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing. And then. Oh! Here is Optimus Prime. I think the box actually over here, as you guys can see the box still. Here he is out of the box. He looks awesome. I love Optimus Prime. I love him. Like I gotta say, I don't know if I said this before, but Optimus and freaking. I don't know if you want to have it like that or if you want to have it like that. I love Optimus and Bumblebee, and this looks, this is one of my dream figures, like, once I knew there was new figures, I was like, I'm getting an Optimus, and then I knew they would make a studio series, I'm like, crap, I'm just gonna get both. <laughs> so, I went right to the store, and I found this guy, I was like, yes, mine. And then, the pre-order, like I said, I kind of canceled it, I'm gonna remake it, not really remake the pre-order, but I'm gonna reorder it, and I'll have two Optimus Primes on my shelf. So, well, three, technically, but yeah, this guy is absolutely amazing. Alright, like, let me take this guy on his head real quick. Good. Yeah, that's a little bit tight. Anyways, so yeah, let me, you guys can close up a little bit. Like, I usually do, I'm gonna do a close up through 16 and everything, so. So here he is. Boom. Right, look at that. I love the, the mirrors, you know, they're like the floors and blue kind of, and you can go ahead and open them and break them off too while you're at it. Like I just did. Yeah. Here, I got it back in there. 
So you don't push the um, pull wheels out as much <laughs> as far as you get as I just did. But yeah, arms, you got the auto belt logo, which is great. You got these, you got the smokestacks. And you got some other effects on him, which looks really cool. All of the design on him is really good. It's like a mainline, cheaper figure, but it's not really cheaper. It's about the same price you pay for the last video series one, so. But you can get earlier and sooner. But honestly, what I'm probably going to do is. Let me see. So you see the kind of the middle ish gray on his mask there. I'm going to try and buy paint of that same color and use it on the rest of the, like, the lighter gray parts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like the hands here are a little bit lighter gray. So that's not as good as gray like these or that kind of gray that I want. But there are parts that have that kind of gray on them. But I want to get him to where he's got that metallic gray to him and everything. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Close up. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a closer look. When I do the whole close up and everything, but yeah. Uh, let's go articulation. You can lift the arm up like that. Um, this whole piece can move kind of the shoulder piece. Oh, you guys can't really see that as much. Shoulder piece can move like that. Go ahead and move that up. You can rotate it like this. Hold. Oh. Rotate the arms too while you're at it. Oh. I don't know if that's double jointed or not. Nah, it's not double jointed. That's one joint on the arm there. Hands. You can rotate them. Yeah, you can definitely rotate them. You can rotate the hands, you can put them in, you can put them out. Like this, so like transforming them, you can do that. Yeah, you can move his hand a little bit better. Or a little bit. So you can do a little bit more posing and stuff like that with them. The other arm is the same, but this will sum up for is this part. You can bring it out like that and make it look like that. And you can go ahead and put it back to the back there like that, kind of, too. The back isn't that bad. You know, there's other Optimus Primes that have a big back, like the um, Earth Spark. This Prime has the whole hood part in the front, like on his back, and that just makes him go, wee, you pull over. And then, you the arms up, legs, you got a little bit of a hip piece right here that can move out. Try that again. A little hip piece right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Kick out that much. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can move that like that. Kick back that much. Kick that forward that much. Um, same with the other leg. Forward, back, side that much. Can't really go in with the feet. Knees. Don't have a double, so you can't really do too much with that. But you can go back. You can go back even more with the part right here. And then you go, wow. Like he's kicking somebody in stop motion. And let's save the other leg. Boom. Knee joint right there. And the feet. You can go back. Go forward with it. Side to side. Stuff like that, put him in a cool pose or whatever with those. And he's got the wheels, which are really cool. Got some up here, transformation and all that. And yeah, overall, this figure is really cool. Uh, trying to see if this has transformation or not. He can move out the waist a little bit. I think a lot. Now this has. Kind of same thing as Marvel Legends have. You can twist the leg right there. See, I don't know. You can twist the leg right there. It's really cool. And then you yeah, have the waist. You can turn it a little bit. 
go forward and go back, but you can make it go forward by doing moving the legs forward or inward. And stuff like that. Yeah, you know, overall this figure is really cool. You know. It's not as good as the Studio Series one will be, but this is still really great for like a mainline kind of one. Better than other main lines, like all these main lines, iffy. Mirages. The only two that are really good are this one and Optimus Primal for the main line. Mirages is actually Mirages is like the, the, the skinniness I feel like is good. But there's aspects of them that are not good. But you have Studio Series one. It's good too. It's really good. But here's his gun or his blast or whatever you can call it. Yeah, boom. Again, it's got some good design on it. And I like that. So yeah. Taking down Scourge with that. <laughs> Something like that. But I did see on eBay there is a set for like a handgun kind of thing. You can add to attachment to put it on his hand. It's really cool. I attached this one and the Studio Series one. So that's why I'm going to buy that. And it's for both of them. So boom. So I'll use one with both of them on the shelf and make them both look cool. Alright, really. let's keep this one. It's like, eh. Um, head wise, if you look at the back of the head, he's got like a glistening there. Kind of like a flesh and blue, like his thing there. Um, literally, you can't move his head down or whatever, but you can do a 360 with it. You can, can't really move it up. Look up anymore. I think the head's a little bit small for him. Just a little bit because of the knees and everything in the way too. Head's a little bit small, like it's a little bit bigger. This is then give you a little more accurate everything. So yeah. But you can move it down. Make him look like he's not looking down. But yeah. The face is really good though. The face is pretty good. Which I'll show you guys that better when we get to the full like 360 and everything. So, yeah. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. I love him. 35 bucks, pretty good. Pretty good price for what you're getting. You know, the box, you know, this is one thing I'm always going to stand by. Um, when you're buying a figure, you're buying the box too. So don't throw away the box. Keep the box. Because you can use that for, like, make it look like a bookshelf. You know, put it up in a closet or something, like at the bookshelf or like that. Well, like I'm going to do with the other side, with this side that was off to my shelf. That's his Voyager class. I'm going to put that on my shelf with the other studio series I have. So, yeah. But I think now we're going to go ahead and do a close up of 360 of him, and then um, do. picture of him in the robot mode and then go ahead and transform him and after that do the close up of the vehicle mode and the photos of the vehicle mode and then outro. Boom. So let's go here.
so here is the vehicle mode it looks absolutely amazing I know my camera is a little bit there we go now it's a little bit more or less staticky or less blurry or whatever that's what looks astonishing you know it was easier to freaking do it myself than to use the instructions so yeah I think you see the gun goes back there but yeah I don't know how to explain the transformation but pretty easy pretty easy there you go push those a little bit more yeah basically bring the red let's see here so this back part you bring that up and that goes like right up here on top you push his head in and everything and then push that you push these two front pieces in um so we got these oh that was straight like that okay oopsies but yeah looks absolutely amazing now the studio series one look really cool but this i love it i love the Hunter's prime truck you know even in like mainline form this mainline version looks so good if you want to get studio series i'm burning way more excited so anyways here's vehicle mode Yagasha. boom so now it's going to be close up 360 on both vehicle and robot mode pictures of both and then outro Spread love is the Brooklyn way. And if you don't know, it's how you know. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Call the clip, say number, say good. It's all good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah.
for League of Everyone, there was the Optimus Prime, Mainline, Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Voyager Class, Action Figure, Unboxing and Review. I absolutely love this figure. I'm going to give it like a 9 out of 10. You know, there are a few things, you know, that are off about it, but for the most part, it's really good. I love that it came with that gun, because now I can use that for the Studio Series 1 and 2, which is absolutely amazing. And when I get the Studio Series 1, I can, you know, back and forth with um, accessories and everything between both Transform and both Optimus Prime and that, the other Optimus. This one, when I do get the other Optimus, I think this one is going to be my vehicle mode one because I don't know why I just like my vehicle mode a little bit more. And he, it, it gives me feels. And the other one I do like more in the long run. So that's how they'll be for, they'll be on the shelf. For, so like right now I have this Bumblebee. I have two Bumblebees now. The one that you saw, if you look closely, you'll see a better paint job on that one than my previous Bumblebee, which this is my previous Bumblebee. And the vehicle mode just the same as the other one. So I said, I'm going to keep this one in vehicle mode and put the other one in robot mode. And I'm not selling that one though, but if no one wants it, I'm going to keep that in vehicle mode on my shelf and make it look cool. So, the same thing I'm going to do with Optimus. Put this one in vehicle mode, the other one will be in robot mode behind. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a long video because I had a lot going for this video and I already had a lot planned for this video. Uh, so, go and check out the main photography short that'll be out um, after this, or it's already out one or two. Um, so if you don't want to watch throughout the whole video and watch the review or anything, you just want to see pictures and stuff, go look at my shorts, you'll probably see it there. Boom, bada. So yeah, I'm definitely planning on buying more Transformers soon. I'm planning on buying some Yellow Park. Um, we call it building kits or whatever you call them, model kits. Of Transformers, I'm gonna probably only buy the movie, so that's miss is good. But I'm just gonna buy a studio series one, and it'll be good for me. Bumblebee's my favorite. I, I've had a battle between both Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. It's always only Bumblebee. Bumblebee's always my favorite. Optimus is like right there. It's like seven and eight, like seven point five and seven. Seven point five is Bumblebee. Seven or seven point five is Optimus, and eight is Bumblebee. You know, kind of like that. That's how close they are. Or 7.9 to 8. That's how close they are, actually, for my rating between both of them. 9 out of 10, but that's what I'm saying. That's how close they would be. So let's say 9 out of 9 would be Bumblebee, would be Optimus. And then 10 out of 10 would be Bumblebee. It's one rate of 9 out of 10 for me. But, yeah, I love Optimus. I'm so happy I got Optimus Prime again. You know, it's great to have another one. Um... Transformation was actually easier than I thought. I did it all myself. If you didn't see at the end of that freaking transformation, I freaking threw the paper across the room and I said, screw it. Afterwards, I was like, I didn't need it. I didn't need it. And yeah, so, uh, thank, you all. thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, we're almost to 400. I really want to get to 400. Uh, that would be very awesome. Go follow me on TikTok. That's where I also post the photography and little shorts and other stuff like that. That I'll post and everything like that. I'm going to do something with Bumblebee and Optimus here soon for that on there. So, um, make sure to look out for that. Go follow my Twitter where I kind of share some stuff on there video games, other movie stuff, figures, stuff, all kinds of stuff on there. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys um, in theaters watching Rise of the Beast. Autobots, roll out. Spread love is the Brooklyn way.